we're back, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go and give the Typhoon Explosion system to Pritchard so he can check it out. All right, fair enough. Oh God, so Joe, yeah, did you enjoy the first part of this? I did enjoy the first part. All right, like, we're, we're not quite up to where you have gotten to yet, right? I think we're about to be once we. Give I think this him, next mission takes us there. I think once you give him the t Typhoon, like this is about where I stopped after I oh, talked am to I on him. the desk. I may or may not well, be on well. the desk. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the Typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Yeah? Now, yeah. Richard. Right now. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, SCSI. You, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computers. Well, I mean, There's you did develop those systems, Richard. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. Yeah. And I thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already well, know. Already. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen. <laughs> Stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. All right, whatever. Fucking dick. Time to go meet with Seraph after I take your fucking candy bar. Oh. Get out of my face, Pritchard. You're a... Dick. Yeah, I am. He took my candy bar, Joe. All right, so I'm gonna go to the elevator. Yeah, go to the elevator. Actually, you know what? Or don't go to the Can elevator. I go to my office. Do you have an office? Yeah, I have an office. I'm head of security. I don't know where my office is though. <laughs> you don't have an office. <laughs> I do have an office. That's Pritchard's. I bet I'm on the next floor. Why do you think you're so much better? Cause you're next floor guy. Yeah, higher up. That's why they call me the higher ups. Is that you? No. Is that you, 32? No. 34. God, I don't know where my office is. We're gonna find it though, Joe. We're gonna find my office. I hope we don't. I hope you don't have one. I do have one, and I don't share it with anybody either. Tim? Fuck you, Tim Carella. He doesn't share either. He doesn't play nice at all. Is that you? No. Where's my office? You don't have an office. I have an office, Joe. You're not important to this I have facility. an office. I promise. Oh. My God. I don't have an office. Just gonna keep going then. I guess I'll just go get debriefed. Get your bitch ass debriefed. Boop. I'm doing elevator music. You talk, Joe. Um. So look at that. We're getting we're getting further away from our wait no. Welcome. Welcome to the I'm telling you, Hugh. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand. Look at that. It was he likes baseball. To the UN that started all this. What does he like baseball? William Taggart is nothing Why not? not a shrewd American. operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances. Yeah. Look him in the Baseball's the national pastime, despite be. the fact it sucks. It's the national pastime. With okay. a smile. Life is a lot like uh, baseball. My mom signed it, signed me up for it, and she expects me to do my best. But I hate baseball. <laughs> I didn't even make it past. Yeah, you wanted to see me, coaches? Pitch? You wanted to see me, boss? Yeah. How you feeling? I've had better days. Oh, well, when we're done here, engraved. check in yeah. with Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. So the limb clinic is your augmentation station. Oh, I thought it was like yeah, where they just... <laughs> no, the limb clinic, it's like... The limb clinics are the places in towns where people with augmentations go for medical treatment. Alright. I'm gonna take charge. What's gambling? Oh yeah, I'm hoping it's a gamble. for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not gonna rest till he finds out who set him up. Oh! And you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. Shut the fuck up, Sarah. You're an just asshole. Being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why. So that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not. And they're refusing to let me see the body. No matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Scold. You wanna scold him? Can we do that? What happens? I don't know. I'll play. I'll play that. Play Kate. Play. Whatever. So I'll pee him. <laughs> I'll pee him in the mouth. You still got friends Wait. in the force. 
You think, uh, you think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. So we're gonna rip open his skull? Fuck it, I'll... Well, he it. kinda ripped it open himself with that bullet. And so we got some stuff, but yeah, clearly, Seraph likes baseball. Can you take... Can you steal? And he's not stuck up at all. Wow, he made himself look really good in that photo. Right, well, let's be honest, I mean, he looks... He looks pretty snazzy over here, look at that... Vest? With what I can only assume is a pocket watch. To go with his watch. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're telling me... Look at his head. You're telling me... He clearly has neural implants. You're telling me he doesn't have a clock there? To keep him on time? I bet you he's got a day planner and a clock and a whole bunch of shit. He seems like a prepared Can I talk to the secretary? I don't want to talk to the secretary. What would you even offer to let me talk to her then? I don't know. The illusion of choice? Welcome to Seraph in... I like that. Yeah. It would be cool if it had like the news playing or something besides just wasting TV space. (gasps) Adam Jensen, please report to your office. I do have an office. It is on the next floor. Why can I not find my office? Because it's not... I must just be an idiot. It must be someone else's that they just gave you. No. <laughs> Secure... It had the big sign over it that said security manager, and I couldn't friggin' find it. All right, so this guy is going to offer us up a side quest. Do you want to do it? What is it? He wants us to help him do shit. I'll go talk to him in a minute. Glad to see you. Just sit at your table. Wait. Next to my Roomba. <laughs> right? I'm gonna go pick up my pocket why is there secretary. A Roomba in the future? Man, why would there not be only Roombas in the future? <laughs> Alright, so here's the question. Why are there janitors in the future if that's a thing? Alright, so we're gonna go up to uh, my... This is your security console. Which Can you, you just... don't have access to any of the stuff. Why? Except you... actually being able to look at the cameras. That's it. Do those even play a important part later or no so this guy's over here just like trying to think of a way to talk to you not act, acting yeah. like you're not in the office so we're gonna log into my computer Mandrake. words aren't enough so this is the guy you saved and his wife you know you saved my life you well, saved yeah. Josie third floor yep, third condo. floor condo in Brooklyn Court the entrance behind the second street gas station he'll have something for us Boom. Uh, I don't know, but I think there's another suspect in the neuroposing thefts. Called what? Denzel Mitchell. Okay. Yeah. What is the code? One, two, three, four? It'll save. And this is Jensen, Tim Carrera. Remember me? No, no. Shut up, dude. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry Hold about up. Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything is going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you? How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. So if I'm not mistaken, neuropazine is the drug that augmented people take so their limbs, or so they don't reject their augmentations. Which makes it an incredibly high-value drug. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff. And says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. So he's asking you to help cover up his theft from inside the company. Which you as security manager should immediately go, I'm going to file a report about this and I'm going to turn you in. But apparently that's not an option. We can just decline him or we can accept. You want to help him or no? Uh, Is it worth experience? How much? Everything's worth experience. Alright, I'm going to level up. We can help him. Tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. 
Got it. I got it from here. So there is a bunch of other stuff that we can do. Yeah, I just, I just want to see how the side quests hold out. Yeah, so we're going to go to our, uh, is this our quest log? No, that's our map. That's our augmentations. Ouch. Is this our quest log? So you're just no, that's freely emails. carrying around guns? Well, yeah, you're the security manager. But I mean, there we go. Okay, so visit the limb clinic, investigate the suicide, uh, help that guy, and then go visit Greg Thorpe. Okay. So we have a couple missions we can do. Some missions. Yep, and we're going to get out of this building. But you know what? First, what first we're going to look at our augmentations, Joe. <gasps> so there's a lot that you can choose there's from here. so many. So first up. There's a parachute. Ugh. Yeah, that thing's great. So the social enhancer. Analyzing and persuading people. We can get it, which will help us in conversations. Some conversations. Or we can ignore it. But for right now, we're going to ignore it while we look over this stuff. So the radar system, you know, helpful for letting you track people while trying to stealth around. We're not going to be doing a lot of stealthing. Infolink, already upgraded all the way. This is your communication and HUD. It's just your explanation for why you got all this shit on your screen. Okay. So the stealth enhancer. So this thing allows your, it, like, it shows your mini-map. Or it shows on your mini map like actual fields of vision for enemies. It allows you to actually put icons over oh, enemies' wow. heads. Um, hacking, of course, hacking is very important. This allows you to capture up to level five terminals. But if you totally ignore hacking, then you can like boost a lot of other stuff. That's six upgrade points you can put into hacking that you won't need to. Hacking analyzing, fucking worthless. Hacking fortification, fucking worthless. <laughs> Hacking stealth, We're kind not doing of stealth. kind of useful if you plan on going full hacking, because as you can see, like reducing your chance of being detected when hacking something. So each time you like click one of those nodes to capture it, forty five percent reduction when you have this maxed out. And that also factors into this. Like once you get level five hacking, hacking level one nodes, it's like it's like a fifteen percent chance of detection. So like with that and that maxed out or with hacking capture maxed out and hacking stealth maxed out, you can hack anything almost undetected. So this is your cool, super cool named Sentinel RX health system. <laughs> super cool. It's awesome. But that just allows you to slowly regenerate health. Serif Series 8 energy converter. So recharging battery cells. So important. I'm actually just going to go ahead and dump a point into that right now. Because upgrading the recharge, not getting more energy, but upgrading the recharge of the energy is super important. Because, and I'm going to back out here, you see in the top left that one battery? Yeah. You see you have two, but you have one that is unlocked, or that is still charged up. That last bit that you have will continue to recharge. It will not, like, that. even if you use that, it'll recharge up that one bit. So you can always have one energy bar, so long as you have the recharge for it. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, back to the augs. Back Oops. to the rest. Back to the rest, bro. Back to the augmentations. Um, the rebreather allows you to ignore gas grenades and sprint longer. Long. Okay. The Typhoon Explosion System. Yes. Which is great takes one energy bar to use which is also factors into our recharging thing mm -hmm. um, but it does take ammo does take ammo um, cybernetic arm prosthesis Do they great get... upgrade path um, moving through heavier objects reducing recoil punching through walls and increasing your inventory size oh that inventory inventory super important um, do you like do you like when you slowly upgrade? Do you slowly see physical changes? No. Oh, no. Well, it. look at you. I thought maybe you'd get like cool palsy so, or something. <laughs> no. Um, so this just reduces reticle growth while moving, which is something we almost never do. We almost never run and gun. We're always behind yeah, cover. Behind cover, yeah. Um, smart vision, seeing through walls, which takes energy. So a great stealth thing. Um, eye augmentations. So letting you know when enemies are going to drop out of their alarmed state and protecting against concussion grenades. The Reflex Booster! Taking down two guys at once. Yes. We're going to probably get that. The Icarus Landing System, fall from any height without fear of injury. That thing's super cool. Dermal Armor, great. Just flat-out damage reduction. Like, 
get that all the way up that's almost 50 percent damage reduction that's fantastic um and emp protection if you go into that cloaking system if we're going to do any sneaking we're going to get the cloaking system which gives you seven seconds of total invisibility per energy cell all right fair enough and then leg enhancements you know run faster jump higher be super quiet when you do it nice yep but that's all your augments. So your standard. Yep, that's your standard augments. So, as Adam Jensen, the reason all these show up now, instead of like you finding them later, you have access to all of these through your sick ass augments. But you are slowly unlocking them as you go through the game, so your body doesn't just like wake up with all this sick ass shit and immediately reject all of it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, so you, you can't just you, wake up. Yeah, like, you can't just wake up as a goddamn robot. You have to still like you wake up with most of your human stuff except for like the HUD, and you slowly get acclimated to it as you go. So you're like a fish in a big fishbowl. Yes, kind of. It's the it's the slow process of gaining powers. It's the it's a good explanation for why you don't just wake up as a cyber murder robo demon. You instead, yeah, you don't wake up looking like and acting like Genos from One Punch Man. <laughs> you instead wake up like a dude with a HUD, and then become Genos from One Punch Man. <laughs> but uh, that's it for this episode. We'll see you all next time. Bye.